Hi Kinti. Happy Monday. Welcome to week 10, your last week before you have your holidays. This week we are reading one of my favourite stories. It's called Don't Call Me Bear by Aaron Blaby. Our learning intention today is good readers use their prior knowledge and text clues to make predictions before reading. With someone at home, I want you to have a look at the front cover. What type of animal is the main character? If you said koala, you're right. How do you think this koala is feeling? You should be koala experts now. Let's read the blurb to find out what's going to happen in this story. This book is about a koala bear from the best-selling author of Pig the Pug and Piranhas Don't Eat Bananas. Hmm. Koala bear. Hmm. I can see the word bear is scribbled out. Why do you think that? And here's the koala saying, Do I look like a bear to you? What do you think? Do you think he looks like a bear? Why or why not? G'day, my name is Warren and I've got something to share. What does the word g'day mean? Have you heard that before? It's some Aussie slang. Can you think of some other words that we use in Australia? Shortened versions of words? Ooh, what do you think Warren is going to share with us? I think that he's going to tell us that he is not a bear. What do you think? Why do you think koalas get called bears? So I have a picture of a koala here and a picture of a bear. What do they have in common? Why do people get them mixed up? Today I want you to write about why you think they get called bears. You might want to use some of these words from my word wall because koalas, bears, fluffy. Well, I think koalas get called bears because they have Round, fluffy ears like bears. That's why I think they get called bears. What do you think? We can't wait to see.